seated. Come to order. It's another Tuesday in Judge Carolyn Ellsworth courtroom, and the docket is full. So what's happening? Why are you in custody? Defendants from all walks of life with the same underlying issue. And how is that going? Were you still using? A drug dependency that one way or another led to arrest. All right. So I did it all right this time. Why are you talking while I'm talk, trying to talk I, to you? I'm fighting for my life here. Drug court began here in Clark County in the early 90s, one of the first such programs in the entire country. And while meth is still the most common problem, opioids are now gaining a lot of attention. Why? Because of what they do. Because it can kill you like this. It kind of brings to everybody's attention when suddenly we've got young people dropping dead because they shot up and it's laced with fentanyl and they, they go down in a bathroom somewhere. Judge Ellsworth says most of these defendants have committed felonies because of their drug habits. Their sentencing judge sends them here to address those issues, gaining life skills through treatment and counseling. The idea, get clean, and participants are less likely to commit future crimes. It's the biggest monster that I've ever had to battle in my entire life. Just ask Keely Kincaid. And it is by pure miracle that I'm standing here right now because I accepted uh, death. On this day, one of 15 people graduating from drug court, the year-long program that Kincaid calls a total reconditioning of the mind, teaching graduates how to cope and respond to life's daily struggles. This represents um, a long journey that I went on. I uh, was addicted to heroin. Um, I was living on the streets and uh, pretty much uh, lived a life of doing whatever it took to support my habit. A disease Kincaid's mother says affects the entire family. When I would look at her, I thought I lost her forever. And this program uh, gave her back to me. According to Health Resources and Services Administration, more than 130 people a day die from opioid-related drug overdoses. Ryan Ellison thought he'd be one of them. Lost my job, lost my place, just gave up living. Another drug court graduate who says addicts must make a choice to get clean. Here, hugging the judge who helped give him that chance. Are you committed to the drugs or are you committed to a better life? Because there are proven facts that if you stay on your addiction, you will end up dead. Period. And back in court. I'm going to go ahead, officially accept you into drug court. A new group of defendants is checking in. Some will spend a few nights behind bars for missing a mandatory drug test. But many more are on course. Good job. Avoiding a prison sentence by taking a chance on themselves. Denise Roche, News.